Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series uh, dealing with propositional logic, uh, is going to consider, I suppose, uh, the I suppose four important uh, variants uh, of an implication, okay, and I suppose their particular equivalence to each other. In um, particular, what we're going to consider is we're just going to consider a an implication. That's where we have a premise and we have a conclusion, uh, an if-then type statement. We're going to consider the converse of this particular uh, implication or the converse of this particular argument. We'll consider the inverse of the original argument and what's known as the contrapositive of the original argument. But before we get there, I need to define each one of these things. Yeah. So let's consider. Okay. Uh, let's consider the implication. So let's consider. Okay. Uh, the implication, the implication, uh, P implies Q. Okay, so this is just a straightforward implication where we have a premise and we have a conclusion. And don't forget, we know which way this works, okay? Because we've defined the, I suppose we've defined the the rules associated with the implication. And just from a truth table perspective, a truth table, okay, for the implication itself. Let's just let's just recap on this again. Okay, so we have a truth table. The implication takes in a left and a right operand P, Q. Uh, the possible states that P, Q could be in simultaneously is they could be false, 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 true, true, false, true, true, uh, and P implies Q. Okay, after we perform the operation, okay, uh, well, we know by definition, and just as a quick sort of rule, an implication is only ever false when the premise is true and the conclusion is false. And when, in one of our previous videos, we, ration, we, we, we put forward a uh, rationalization why that's the case. So the only time the implication is false is here, everywhere else, it's true. Okay, so this is how the implication works. Okay, so this is important. This is our true table for the straightforward implication. Okay. But there's many different things that we could do with this implication. Okay. We could flip the premise and the conclusion around. That gives us another implication. We could negate the premise and we could negate the conclusion. Uh, we could flip the, the negated conclusion and the negated premise around to give us different implications. Okay. For example, if P was I went to the shop okay, uh, and Q was uh, I, bought, I bought a bottle of Coke, well, then this implication would say, if I went to the shop, then I bought a bottle of Coke. And you know yourself, we've all been in these types of arguments or these types of games where you might say things like, if I didn't go to the shop, then I didn't buy a, buy a Coke, bottle of Coke. Okay? Or something like, if I didn't buy a bottle of Coke, then I didn't go to the shops. Or something like, if I bought a bottle of Coke, then I went to the shops. So there's many ways to play around with this particular implication. And each one of them variants has a particular name. Okay? And the first thing we're going to define with respect to the original implication, this original implication, is what's known as the converse argument. So the converse of an implication. Okay? Well, the converse, by definition, is just where we flip the conclusion, we flip the premise with the conclusion, so we flip them around. So, if P represents some proposition, and if Q represents some other proposition, and if they're connected together through an implication, well then, if we flip the propositions around, Q implies P, this particular argument in this case is what's known as the converse of the original argument. Okay. Uh, another thing that we could do is we could invert uh, both the premise and the conclusion. Okay? So we could, this is what's known as the, inver the inverse of the original argument. So the inverse of the original argument okay, is where we take the original premise okay, and we negate it, and we take the original conclusion and we negate it, and we connect them with an implication. Okay? Uh, and finally, what's known as the contrapositive, okay? so the contra positive okay, of the original argument okay, is where we take the inverse okay, and we flip them around or if you want to think about it we take the implication and uh, we, we create a new premise which is the old conclusion and we negate it so we have the negation of Q implies the negation of P. So what we have here now is we have four we have four 
uh, implications all based off the original well three Im old new implications all based off the original implication okay uh, but we have that we've moved the premises and the conclusions around and we've negated the premises and the conclusions uh, uh, with, res with, res with respect to each other okay now from an argument perspective, some of these particular statements are equivalent to each other, uh, and some of them aren't equivalent to others. Okay, so I'm just wondering, yeah, out of all these statements, which statements are equivalent to each other? So let's consider the converse. Let's build a true table for the converse. Okay, so let's consider the true table. So the true table for the converse. Okay. So what we're going to do is we just we know that the converse takes in a, a p and a q. Okay, let's just build a true table here. Okay. So it takes in a P, Q, okay, it has, has two propositions, uh, they could be false, 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 true, true, false, true, true. Uh, and what we want to build is we want to build Q implies P, so we want to build Q implies P. Okay. Now this time, don't forget the way that the implication works is that what's the logical the, the logical uh, values that are being fed in as the premise here, okay, are from the Q column, and the logical values being fed in as the conclusion are from the P column. Okay, so it's it's flipped around. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have when 